Hello, happy Wednesday. It's time for scrapbooking with Lanita. And today I'm going to show you how to make the new autumn harvest mats, but there's just a few of them that I'm going to show you. I do this class for Creative Cafe International and I just finished doing the birthday ones and these arrived in time for me to show them the whole 33 of them. And I'm going to show you one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six of them, maybe five of them today. Let's see how many I can get done with you today. It's going to be super fun. And uh, the reason it's fun is because there are so many uses for these mats and you'll get to see this. I know a lot of you have taken the class and I was going to tell you that if you want to take classes from before, you can. And this is the one that I just taught for birthdays. I'm going to show you some of them. I think I might have showed you some before, but I'm going to show you some of the ones from the birthday. That's the autumn one I taught. And uh, at Creative Cafe International, not just that, there's tons of other classes that are good. So first though, it's time for a scrapbook game with Anita. And I'm again, very excited to show this to you today. So let's just get started. And I will highlight this part here and get going. So one of the things about these mats is that, oh, I don't want to forget to show you how they fit in the album. So I'm kind of sitting on the album here, hoping I won't forget. But I just love that you can take something like this and make it into something like that. Uh, here's another sample. We made these the other night at my team meeting. Which, by the way, if you want to be part of my team of Lanita's Lights, I would love to have you join my team as a Creative Memories Advisor. Uh, so you turn it in from this into this. And it took probably three or four minutes. It's very fun. Uh, here's a stack. You know, there's a lot of the mats. And I do want to show you for sure. I'm just going to put this. Sometimes I'm afraid I'm going to bump my keyboard and you know who knows do do what right the ingredients for these are the mats the mat pack it has 24 of them but we cut them down so you can get 33 34 and some bonus borders and then a set of the stickers and a set of embellishments and i know these are gone but I did, I was able to snag a few extras. So you'll know that you can get those on my site called scrapbookingwithlanita.com. Those are, that's my discontinued site. I'm going to show you the other site where you can get this stuff that is still in stock. I'm using a little bit of this and some of the vellum, which I didn't pull out today, but the vellum comes with this too. And of course, um, cardstock that matches. All right. So put those away and that away. And I'll get started. All right. Just kind of organizing myself. What I'm going to do is make this one first and then this one because I need pieces from here to finish this one. And I need pieces from here to finish that one. So that's a good plan, right? Okay. All right, let's see. So the first one, oh, I do want to show you this too. That's why I have this. One of the ways that I try to organize myself is to keep either projects in a folder like this or this particular case, I have uh, my my papers that I've cut into already. Those are in here. I'm hearing a little bit of feedback on my system, so I don't know why, but hopefully it's not bothering you. Pull this out, and these are the ones that we're going to be using. So the first one I'll make is this one, because it's very easy, and that is this. So I'm going to pull the others aside. There's that. So there's this part, and I have cut this into a 5x5 
five and a half. Oh, can you believe I forgot? Five and a half by, no, it's not five and a half. It's a little bit more, six and a half, six and a half by six and a half inch square. And I'm going to use the new pumpkin vine punch. I think it's called pumpkin vine, pumpkin something. And I am just going to punch the top. Now it will cut a little bit of it off there, but it's really not a big problem to cut a little bit of it off because pumpkins get cut, don't they? So see, you could either leave that and not back it, but I want to back it. So I'm going to have that on there. Oh, there we go. I mean, I mean, I'm going to cut it. Okay, there's that part. And then I am going to keep, 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 keep those little pieces, those little pieces, the pumpkins, their little pumpkins here, their little flowers. Uh, let's see, get those little flowers. There's a flower, there's a flower. I may not need all of them, but I'm going to just make sure I have, and there's some little leaves, the leaves, the bigger ones. You see, I'm going to see how the flower now that I flipped it over, it's yellow. These I'll set aside just in case. And then here is where it gets super fun because in just a few minutes, it's just very easy to transform this. And it is a little bigger, so I'm going to set it like that. And I'm going to cut a little bit of this off here so it's not as big. So it would be probably more like six and a half by six and three fourths, I'm gonna say. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Okay. So six and a half by six and three fourths. I mean, six, six and one fourth, not six and a half. Six and a half, six and one fourth. Ah, okay. Uh, then on the stickers, I pulled out the stickers that I would be using. And it's this one here. I am going to add a foam square to it. Ooh, I think I hear UPS coming. We love UPS trucks. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Earlier, there was a chainsaw going outside and I think they're still cleaning up some of the branches that fell from the hurricane. That was quite something, wasn't it? All right, so there's this. I'm gonna tip it a little bit and then I can put a little bit of something right back here or leave it. And I think I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna show you what it could look like. Like if you wanted to put orange behind it, that doesn't show up as much. I would probably put something like this behind it. Um, or a little bit of a lighter orange. So this one has white. I'll just do the yellow so that you can, um, so that you can, a little bit of a different view on that. Let's make sure my measurements are right on this one. And this is the one that takes about the longest. Now, if I wasn't in front of you, I would just cut that off because I want to save paper. But I also want to save your time, right? I don't want to use up all your time. Now, notice how I have all these little pieces that I put adhesive in here. For this particular one, because I added the yellow in there, I'm not adding any of the pumpkins, but you can, or I can. Let me just put one in there just so you can see, or you can put the brown pumpkin in there and just pop it up and, and offset it just a little bit. can be every other one. Since there are only three here, I'll just do these two. And just offset it a little bit so that I'm not sure if I like that because it blends too much so so I think I like that part better instead of offsetting it but you know you get to decide okay so that's that part now that said that one is done I'll set that one aside and I will show you all of them when I'm done okay I do a fun easy one how about that one that was is very very easy and that one uses this one. And I chose it because it also uses the leftovers that are over here. Uh, the gratitude here comes from the stickers. 
put a couple of foam squares on it. There, there, there. And put that on like this. And then the other part that really adds to it is doing a little stitching right there, right there. It will make it pop. And then a few of these little, I'm going to bring these over because I want to show you this part here. A few of these little pieces here. So there is um, a leaf right there. And I'm going to put a tiny foam square there. It's like really tiny. And that is going to go down here. Okay, it's little. Bring this camera down just a bit so you can see. And then, all right, here, this one I've cut already. So that one is good. Um, there's that one. That one can be there. So you can see how I'm re I'm using these little tiny pieces that that um, I punched out. And here I'm cutting tiny, tiny foam squares just to be able to do the little tiny pieces. So this is part of what I want to show you. And I said this one is, e is an easy one. It is. It is. But part of the um, you know, part of the teaching part is showing you how to use all these little fun pieces. It's just a little time consuming to put, put the foam squares on. Don't have to put the foam squares on only if you want to, but it does make it pop nicely. Okay. So there's that. And I don't need to put all the others on, but you can see this one got a little bit wet because it blew out of the car during the hurricane, but that's okay too. Huh? And then a few little dots on it over here. You can see I'm missing that one over here, but um, I want to give you the idea of how to do it. And then always oh, the little dots, and I am missing the one over here too. All right, so that I can finish later. Now we have two down. And Oh, let's see. Oh, I think I'll save my, let's do this one with a tool because this will also use some of that leftover uh, stuff from here. Now on this one, this is, this is this one here. Okay. And I am going to punch out using the rustic fence border maker cartridge and the vellum love using this vellum i love it it's so uh it's different than our other vellum because see how that side looks has a lot of pattern this one doesn't as much and so after you punch it you can decide what side you want to use more what side you like more okay so the vellum is also fairly easy to punch. I'm going to say much easier than some of the others. And then this is going to be at, I'm pretty sure it's one and a half. Yes, it is. So this is going to be the little tips over here are going to be at one and a half. Ooh, I was off the table on that, huh? Your trimmer does not like to be off the table. Just so you know that. You probably didn't know that already. When I hang it off the table and I'm really close to you, you know, the camera is super close to you here. So now look and see what I have left here. All right. So after I make this border here, I'm going to finish that other one using these little pieces. Isn't it great to be able to use, use pieces that, that fall out of the punches, punch poop, we call it sometimes. <laughs> okay. So here is that. Let me move those aside. Here's that. Don't want to get rid of those. Might need some more of those. And simply put some of your, um, I say vellum, a little bit of the vellum adhesive right under here, or your um, repo works also, repositionable. And it can go wherever you want. Um, 
you know, if you have it sort of in the non-off-center, just depends on what side you want. And then right here, you know how I like to keep my embellishments on a sheet so I can easily grab them and I do not put a lot of adhesive on them. But it's nice that this already has some on it, makes it easy. And I only want a little bit of the foam squares because it's going to hang over and I don't want it sticking to something else. So there's that part. And then right over here is a little bit of, of this. Now the color here is the tan because there's another one that is using the tan, but I am not making that in front of you. So I am going to use the yellow side on this. And again, hopefully Creative Memories will come out with these mats. <laughs> So that we'll be able to, oh, I guess this is backwards because of that. But it really doesn't matter if, you know, if they're this way or the other way. So it kind of depends on which way you're punching out your pieces. Although for this one, it would matter a little bit more because of, um, let's see, I think I can put that one right. I'm going to just flip it over here and stick it in there, okay? And then a few dots, and three of these are made. I'm gonna use brown this time. And I love the tiny micro tip brown. It just gives little tiny, tiny, tiny dots. And it's really good to write on and a happy album or that sort of thing. I think I'm done with that punch, so I'll get rid of that. So there you go, that one is done. Very fun, huh? And I don't wanna to forget to show you how to use them in the album. I already said that, right? But I just don't wanna forget. All right, how about this one? Oh, you know what? Okay, this is the part that I had already forgotten. So let's put those little pieces under here. And this is where this other piece that is really handy happens to come in. So this is that sticker lifter upper. And I know they're already gone, but I do have some of them on my discontinued site. So let's see, uh, what's the easiest way for this one? For this one, I am I'm gonna try this. I've tried several things and let's see if this is the easiest way. Sometimes it is not, but there we go. So there's that. And I want this other one here. So that's going to go. So I think I'm going to need a few more, a little bit more adhesive. Now, if you look here, uh, I'm going to show you the other way that I've done it so that it's not as, um, so that it's easier to pick them up. So I'm going to put the adhesive on these. See why I need that lifter? I'm gonna just put adhesive on these. It's really hard to keep them from sticking on, the, on here because they're so tiny, but you know, there are ways. So that's what I want to show you how to just put those on. And it's a lot easier when you're not under a camera because your hands can get in there easily, but you know, these can be maneuvered with your tool, which is magnificent, okay? Now you can see the dark side and the light side. That's because I used two sides of the vellum. That's really fun. So you're just going to put them all along here. Let me show you this again, but it would take too long for me to do that for you. So I want you to just see that that's how those are used. And I've got the tape, they're ready to continue. All right, so on to this one. All right, so I like this one because it is using the larger pieces that sometimes we're not quite sure how to use. So that's this one here. I'll put that one there. That is this one. And I'll just add a little bit of this to that here. And then that's going to go right like that. These are going to tuck under. And that is this one here. And um, I guess one of these, it looks like one of those. OK, 
Okay, so those are ready to go. And then the last one, the last couple are stickers. So I need the one that says autumn. It's a circle. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, no, it is not. It is from here. I forgot that it's not a sticker. It is an embellishment, and that is going to have a foam square. All right, so there's that, and it just goes a little off. And what I was careful was to put it in the middle and not on the side so that I can easily tuck these in. And they already have adhesive enough, actually, for me to adhere them under. And I can add more if I want, but I want to be able to position them. And then one little blue heart. I think I saw that. There it is. There's a little blue heart all ready for me. And a little tiny, tiny piece of foam squares. Square. <laughs> And there it is. Okay, now a few little dots and a few little dots and down here. And that is it. Isn't that fun? Okay, there's that. One more. How long did it take us? I didn't time us because we're not doing the five minute Friday, but we will on Friday. I have a good one for you. I think this is one of my favorites and Probably it's because when I was playing with these, this looks really good on most any page in the album that has um, Fast to Fab pages. All right, so this is one of these. So let's see which one it is. The blue one here. Uh, let's see, I think it was blue. Yep, that blue. And then this one is a sticker and those two are stickers and that's just a little piece of ribbon. And that's a red piece. I think I can, or ribbon as in a piece cut from here. So I might as well do that now. I see I have blue out, but I do like the red. So I'll just cut a little tiny, tiny piece from, it's like an eighth or a little under an eighth there. And in order for me to try not to be crooked, I'm going to hold it as I go up. Okay. There we go. And then, of course, it's bigger than what I need, but that uh, it's better to be bigger than what I need than shorter. Okay, so my pieces are ready. I'm going to switch sides here. And then, uh, go ahead and put this in. So, 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 so. <laughs> Did I cut it thin enough? Barely. Barely, barely, barely. Okay, so what I'm going to do is add some adhesive back here. And then this is going to, um, that back piece is going to adhere. And I am going to also put a little bit right there. Whoop, that was a little bit a lot, huh? Then this one is going to be like that and just a little beveled. And then this... I'm going to cut right at the edge right there because this will stabilize, that part will stabilize that. And then I had added a little extra here. So that will be like that. Okay, well, 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 I added extra, but not quite enough. <laughs> Let me try that. That seems better, doesn't it? All right, so then a little bit more here. Tip it a, a bit like that. And uh, sometimes glue is good for this, but I did forget to add the adhesive when I was putting it down. So I am going to put this over, which is the other advantage to these, is that I can do something like that and then continue finishing it like that. You can do it on a piece of plastic also. All right, the stickers are these. And there's that, and there's that. So if you took my class, my birthday one at Creative Cafe International, the all of these are posted, all 32 of them, just so you know, they're all posted on the site. Because you know, you get a little bit of bonus on these things, huh? And you'll see, we won't have instructions or directions, so that's why I'm doing a few here so that you can be inspired. Um, there, let's see. I think that one belongs over there. 
And I need another tiny, tiny one. Don't you love that we can cut these so, so little? It's like, it's a, it's almost like being a dentist or a surgeon where you have to do these tiny, tiny little things, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, there's that. A little bit of the white is showing on that one. And a few little dots. And that is it, my friends. What do you think? Oh, little dots here. I don't like that white showing there, but all right. So I'm gonna set this over. I'm gonna bring this up and then show you what it looks like in a book. And I will show you quickly. Uh, so let's just start from the beginning. Now look how pretty that is right there. Would that be a nice title? Like this is our year and something like that. That looks good there. So notice what happens is that's why I like this when it brings out the blues that are in this mat suddenly, right? And you notice I'm putting them more on this side. It's because I have more of this side on the camera. But look at that. It pulls out the reds. Isn't it so pretty? And you can put it wherever, you know, wherever you want. That looks good on that, right? It looks good on all of these. So just let's just look and see how the others would look. I didn't really play to see, but... You know what? That looks really good there, too. What else do we have here? What else? What else? What else? Mm, that looks good. Ooh, that makes it pop, doesn't it? How fun is that? How would this look on here? Let's see. Mm, I like that. Isn't that pretty? It actually goes good here because you could put a, a couple of tiny pictures if you wanted to. Or you could do it over here or on one of the other pages. Do you see how fun this is to use these? And this is just one of the ways. Okay, this is just one of the ways you can use these. Um, all right. So, so yeah, you can have tons of fun on these. And by the way, the reason we have the mini mats like these is because a lot of you work in happy albums or in eight by eights or just need a little bit of a title to put in a book. So let's just say like that. Okay, let this house be full of Thanksgiving. And then you have your entire album. And that is the really cool title. All right. That. So you will use these. And now let me show you the others really quick here. Okay, so with these ingredients here. So it's usually three or four ingredients, stickers, embellishments, and mat pack and then birthday paper and we made all these all these isn't it so cool look at them all super fun they were very very fun it took about three hours so you know you'll see the class if you decide to sign up for the autumn one and i will post it under the link also i mean the link i will post under when i'm done here but um that one is that right there for, to learn this one and of course there's 11 other classes so you know the one the one that is the the promo there's a promo or a sale not a promo a sale going on right now with the serene waters so i started telling people about it and i realized that they ran out of a few of the ingredients but they haven't run out of these yet they ran out of the laser cuts but they still have the paper the mats the stickers and the embellishments. So I would say just run on over and order where it says sale. Okay. And that is here. CreativeMemories.com. Lanita Medina. That's where you want to order your supplies from if you do not have an advisor yet. Aren't these super fun? And this is a great place to store them so that you can use them whenever you want. Okay. I think that is it. Let me empty my area here for I want to tell you thank you for scrapbooking with Lanita today and um is there anything else I want to tell you oh for the creative cafe international we do have one coming up in the winter there's the information for that one and I don't think I'll be doing the mats but I do have like every other one or when there's a super cool mat pack with embellishments and stickers and all that then I'll do that I'll teach that so Thank you for scrapbooking with me today, and I will see you on 5-Minute Friday. All right. Bye-bye.